I can't say what put George Darrow in that bar on that night, with his box of Cubans and letter on American Football League letterhead, assigning him the license for the American game throughout all of Australasia and the South Pacific. He was a tall Texan with a Lone Star belt buckle, and every black and white Western in my father's childhood had taught him a handshake meant business with such men and could be trusted implicitly. George Darrow had the opportunity of a lifetime within his reach, apparently. All he needed was a partner with a head for business and some cash to float the venture. His modelling showed the finances hitting break-even in a year or two and profits galore by year five. <laughs> 